a couple of months ago, I don't know if you remember this, but I bumped into you. Of course. Okay? How and could I our, it turns out our kids, we didn't know this, but our kids are in the same basketball league. Our yeah. si uh, m mine's a six year old boy, my boy. But he's still almost as tall as you. Yes. He's <laughs> Which is not fair, because my yeah. son is like, you know, 4'11. He can't even go on the rides at the, uh, the amusement park yet. No, my son, it's hard being 6'4 when you're oh. six years old. But... Oh, my God. <laughs> We're the, but we're in the same basketball league, and you, sh and you show up, and of course, we're both from Boston. We're both diehard Celtics fans. We know that about each other. Yeah, but and, what's the big problem? Okay, here's the problem. <laughs> My son, all of his friends are on a certain team yeah. here in Los Angeles in the league, and that's the one my son wanted to play on. All and his he friends wanted to be on the Lakers? He wanted to be on the Lakers. Oh my and God. Well, you and know this has caused... He just wanted to be with his friends, and it happened to be the Lakers, and he said, Dad, I want to be on that team. It was really hard for me. I said he could. My son walks out, and you see me, and you're like, who's your son playing for? And you look over, and you see all these kids run out in Lakers jerseys. Yeah. I thought you were going to hit me in the Adam's apple. Yeah. Well, I would have hit you in the face, but I couldn't reach. <laughs> no, but you know what's funny is my son just happened to randomly get picked on the Celtics. Yeah. And my wife called me and said, oh, you're gonna be excited because he got picked on the Celtics. I was like, that's awesome. And then she was like, but we're gonna put him on another team because one of his friends can't make it to practice on Wednesday. And I said, I don't give a shit what he's gonna do. <laughs> he's staying on the Celtics and that's it. But my kids actually, they consider themselves Californians because they were born here. Sure. So like, you know, I took my daughter to a Lakers game and you know, Kobe's like, oh, she's a big uh, Celtics fan, right? And like, and she's like, no, I'm from California. I like you guys. They sell us out. They don't care. You know what? It is what it is. As long as, as long as my son doesn't punch me in the nuts anymore, I'm fine. <laughs> that's his Still does obsession. that. That's his newest obsession. Goes him, through that phase. Him and the three-year-old. Yeah. I, they, they came to uh, to visit me in Miami. I was on the set with The Rock, and I said, my kids really love you. Can you come by and say yeah. hi? So they're in the trailer. He gives my one son a high five, and then the next one he goes to give him a high five, my son right in the nuts. Really? Yeah, Hit to the, the rock. rock. I'm like, what are you doing, dude? And he looks at me like I made him do it or something. <laughs> I thought he was gonna try to like that pick me hilarious. up and slam me. I wish we had footage of that. That's his new thing. Well, I'll invite him on the show one day. He'll punch you right in the nuts. I want that, yeah. Uh, are you, when I saw you at the basketball game, at our kids' basketball game, you were still, we were both absorbing the Patriots loss because we're both Patriots fans and oh. you I was upset you were just catatonic I mean you were just beside yourself I was worried for your mental health about the Patriots loss and it was shortly after uh, they they lost the Super Bowl uh, how are you doing now well I'm still grieving but the biggest problem was and the reason why I was really upset was because I got in so much trouble I had a bunch of friends over watching the game you know Patriots are winning pretty much the whole game. Right. They lose in the last couple of seconds. I had 15 friends over. I kicked everybody out. <laughs> like, literally, get the F out now. And then my wife comes in and she goes, babe, take it easy. It's only a game. And I went, what the f***? You know? <laughs> and that was where the real problem started. Yeah, yeah, you don't do that. <laughs> because she was so upset. I, I wasn't able to make it up to her until Valentine's Day, which was the next month. Actually, you know, the same month. So it was pretty close. So still, thank you, God, but she's still... There's like three weeks where you're sleeping in the garage. She's actually hoping now, she said, you know, you're never watching the game again, but now she just hopes that the Patriots make it back to the Super Bowl so she can go on like a week vacation during the Super Bowl time. Yeah, and just leave you oh, But it was, it was bad, you know, yeah. and uh, hopefully, you know, I always tell myself I'm not going to get upset, but you just can't help it. When you talk to Tom Brady, you guys are friends. How's yeah. he doing? He's he doing feel? good. You know, he handled it better than I did. He came to visit me when we were doing some additional... I love that he's the quarterback yeah. of the team. <laughs> Well, you, his, you know, Giselle was like, it's just a game. He's like, yeah, it's just a yeah. game. And your wife, it's just a game. Yeah. And, then you, and you look at Gronkowski, who's, he's got one bad leg, but yet he's at a Super Bowl party dancing after. I'd have done but, the same thing. But I can't fault him. Tom feels like they're going to win this year. They finally got a great defense. Last year, they didn't have any defense. Right. It was pretty much him and the offense that, that got him there. So.